Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. So today we'll be designing one of the parts that we'll be using for our assignments. That's the hinge. So we'll design the hinge, then the screw, and then the other parts. Okay. So we'll be using the procedures in the book. So you can also use the procedures in the book to, to design it. So they are here. Similar procedures. So yeah. So you go to your your solid works and then Go to parts, okay. We are not doing assembly, so make sure you select parts, okay. Go to file and then select parts. Click on okay. You should have this. So let's start our work by selecting a, a plane. So you select a plane and make it normal. So, okay. Then you draw your line. So make sure you start the line drawing from what the center. Okay, you should see that relation inside there, the yellow one. So you Draw your line from the center. Make sure it's horizontal. Don't do this. Make sure it's horizontal. Something like this. Then X key. So let's give dimension to our line. So the dimension of the line is true what inches. So give that two inches. Now we are going to draw an arc. Okay, so select your arc tool. Select your arc tool. And then stand on a point or anywhere here. That is what vertical that is vertical to what this point okay that's a vertical to this point it passed through this point okay you must see that relation the vertical relation over there then you click there then you select this point here the point and make sure it's what concentric vertical and concentric then you draw so i want to stop somewhere here yeah. so i'll then give the dimension of my arc so to dimension the arc the dimension is 0 0.5, so 0 0.5. So it should have something like this. Now the next thing is to make these two points what? Is to make these two points what? Horizontal. So you select this point, click on Control, and select this point. Then come to your relation, and then select what? Horizontal. So you should have something like this. You make them horizontal. So we are good to go. So we are going to now what's extrude boss and base. So go to your features, go to your feature tool, and then click on what's extrude boss and base. Okay, then you should have. So we are going to be extruding by what's four hot inch. So the extrusion should be four inches. And then it should be what's mid plane, you should use mid plane so that there'll be two inches, two inches to the other side. And then the team feature, the team feature is supposed to be 22, no, only one direction. The team feature should make it 0 0.25. Yeah, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Yeah. Then you click on what? Okay. Yeah, so you should have something like this for now okay so after getting this so let's go ahead and then cut some parts so that it didn't look like a real hinge so you're going to cut some parts so select this surface and make it normal so you should have this so let's let's draw some square so select one line to select this surface then select this one. Select this one. Okay, so we have that. So let's give dimension. The dimension of this line should be one. Okay, then the dimension of this one is already out. So you don't you don't need to give. Let's go to what your yeah, should cut and then we will should cut this portion. So it should cut. So we are going to should cut. So you want to should cut both. Okay, you know realize that these two are what's different shapes. So we should cut through both. So through all and then through both. So yeah, something like that. And click on. Okay, 
So you should have something like this after your hot air should cut. Okay, so we are going to do our linear pattern. So we want to linear pattern this extrude cut here to some exact some distance from here, which we will calculate. So we know that from here to here is what four what four inches, and then we've extrude cut one inch. Okay, we want to extrude cut another one inch, but then we want to leave some one inches between them before we extrude cut. So meaning that we'll be leaving one inch here, then we'll what extrude cut another one inch, then we'll leave another one inch here. So that's exactly like if we want to linear pattern this. That will be, will be linear pattern in what? Exactly two what inches from here. Two inches from here. That's why you want to repeat the shortcut. So go to your linear pattern and just make a selection. So go to the linear pattern. So there are two linear parts. One is sketch and the other is features. The sketch one, we use it for sketches, not what? For models like this, not for features. So go to the shortcut. Go to what? The linear pattern in what? Features, which is here. Select it and then let's make the necessary input. So the direction. Want any linear direction, like any linear direction along this axis over. So let's select this edge. Along this edge, we want our linear part. And you see that the you see that the, the distance is repeated at this side. So you want so you can flip what direction. So if you flip it, it will go to this other side. Hope you get. And then we want the distance to be what two inches. So you type your distance to and we want two instances. The first one that is here, and the second new one that will be created. Then you click on what. Okay. So you, sh you should have you should have this. Nicely drawn. Yeah, nice pinch. So now let's go to uh, the final stage of our design. So now we want to create some holes here where screws will be hot. Yes, where we'll insert our screws. So let's let's make select this surface and make it normal too. So you should have this. Select this surface and make it normal too. Go to your whole wizard and then make the necessary hot adjustment. So you are supposed to select what? Countersing. Countersing is here. Yeah, countersing. Select countersing and make what? It's IC inch. Don't make it IC what metric, okay? That's a mistake some people have been doing. So IC inch. Then you make the what? Flat head screw, what? 82. Then your size should be what? 10. Touch 10. And then, yeah, you make all the selections here. It should be what? The end correction to be true or. Okay? True or. Then you go to position. And then we'll position it. Somewhere here. Some position is somewhere here. Yeah. So after you position, please don't don't just leave it, okay? Go straight to what your smart dimension and then give it dimension. So you're going to select your smart dimension. You are going to give so select this point and then select this line. Or select this line. That will give you this to so dimension. So this is supposed to be what? 0 0.3 inch. So zero point three inches. Okay. Zero point three inch. Then the distance from the point here to this line is what one point zero. So one inch. So yeah, so you should have this then you click on what? Okay. So you should have your hole here. Now we are going to linear pattern the hole. We are going to linear pattern the hole. Like I said, you can use the instructions from the book to do the same thing. So, yeah, just use the instruction. If you're not getting the values here, go and then get a book and then use to do the same thing. Uh, so that's that's linear pattern. So as usual, I'm going to use the linear pattern from from here. So you should have this. So the linear pattern wants to use what wants to linear pattern on both directions. Okay, we want four instances: two in this direction, two in the other direction. So let's select, let's select this, and then along this direction, then we should select what two instances. So along this direction, the same should the distance between them should be what two inches along the longer direction. It should be two inches. Yeah, two inches. Then we want two instances. Then the second direction. The second direction is here. So I've not selected the figure one. So let me go to my design tree and then select this. Okay. So you can see that it has moved towards the other side. So we are going to flip the direction of what's the first one. So let's flip it to here. And then the 
So let me place it to two. Okay. Then the second direction. So the second direction, I want it along this what axis. So yeah, I want it here. And the distance should be what? 0 0.9. 0 0.9 inches. 9 inches. And then we want two instances. We want two instances. So we increase it to and then you click on what? Okay. So you should you should have this. So I want to repeat the the whole wizard whole thing again. So let me just go back and then repeat. Well, let me just repeat the linear pattern of the whole wizard. So you guys will get it. So go to linear pattern in features. Go to linear pattern in features. Then you what you select your your as your the line that you want is the axis. Okay, the direction. So we want it. We'll be creating it two along what here and two what here, two here, two here. That's four. Okay. So we want two on this direction. So along this direction, we want two. So and the, the distance between them should be what two inches and two instances. There are the same things instructions inside the book. So I'm just looking inside the book so you can also see. Then along this axis, we want what also two. So and the distance between them should be what zero point nine zero inch. And we want two instances. So I've not selected the surface or the feature one. So go to your design tree, which is here. Then you can select your what your feature, which is what the the hole that I've just created. So yeah, you can see that all the distance they are moved to this side. So you can flip. So we go to here and flip what the direction. Okay, flip the direction. Then to come back and you click on what. Okay. So we are done with what our hinge. So the next will be the screw. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Okay. That's the way. The only way of saying thank you. Yeah. Welcome.